as legislation in Virginia continues to circle around the idea of new gun laws, multiple counties and cities across the Commonwealth have already declared themselves as Second Amendment sanctuaries. And now a man in Virginia Beach is hoping to make the resort city one as well. Any of your sides, Tamara. Scott joins us to explain what this is all about. Tamara? Well, ultimately, Vincent Smith wants to join other cities and counties to send a message to the General Assembly in Richmond. He says his message is simple, to protect people and their rights. You cannot legislate the evil out of man's heart. Evil exists, and no law is going to change it. So how do you solve this issue? Continued gun violence throughout the country and in the Commonwealth. Vincent Smith says it's still a work in progress, but proposed legislation enrichment for gun control is not the answer. They affect honest people like me. I'm not a criminal. I'm an upstanding citizen. I just happen to own guns, and they want to make me a felon for possessing those guns. Vincent Smith is a Virginia Beach resident and a city employee who was affected by the May 31st killings as well. He's proposing Virginia Beach become a Second Amendment sanctuary. The resolution basically tells Richmond that the city of Virginia Beach is not going to spend money and effort and resources trying to enforce laws that Richmond passes that are unconstitutional. This comes as several cities have recently passed similar resolutions. Vincent says the Virginia Beach community is still healing from the tragedy last spring. He believes certain gun control laws would interfere with the healing process. And while there are other discussions on how to heal from that, he hopes this stance protects them. As far as, you know, the employees, you know, a, a lot of us are, you know, still a little bit unsettled. You know, we're in temporary quarters and we're doing the best we can with what we have. You know, there, there are employees still suffering, you know, and I, I hope the public remembers those people. Now, Vincent will be presenting this resolution to City Council on December 3rd, and he's hoping for a big turnout. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.